the procedure was all arranged for a certain date. And the day before, I did a normal thing. I actually had lunch with a friend and a glass of wine. Uh, that night, I just had a light tea and then uh, nothing to eat um, uh, after tea. Um, the morning procedure was uh, booked for about 6.30 in the morning, so out of bed and uh, pretty early and uh, no time to think about eating or uh, anything. Uh, a cup of coffee would have gone well, but it uh, wasn't to be. Have a shower. Make sure that, you know, the hair's washed too and uh, wash the body and everything and no nail polish. You're not allowed to have any nail polish on. Only take the bare essentials to the hospital because they say, you know, you've got to take a credit card. My doctor's cards, I take, you know, their kind of little cards and so I know who they are in case I need to fill out any other forms. The hospital staff were just absolutely marvellous. They just seem to... You're the only one there. That it's you, you, That's how you felt. You were the only one there. They uh, answered your questions. They uh, made you feel relaxed uh, uh, and uh, ready for it. I try to keep calm, and they say, "Well, you know, you're pretty calm for this." And really, inside, sometimes I'm not very calm. But they they are so good at talking to you, and you know, I think they must pick it up that you know, well, they probably do see it. <laughs> Although I'm trying to deny that, you know, I'm feeling nervous and things but they do know how to calm you down and talk to you and um and you just have to you know like um just accept that they know what they're doing and it's all going to be all right for me an important thing also was that i was under a very qualified cardiologist a professor of cardiology they get you uh, get a bit of paperwork done and and then into the hospital gown uh, you're sitting around a bit and then the anaesthetist comes in and he reassures you and uh, you feel really confident by the time uh, he's, he's told you that it's all going to be pretty cool and uh, the cardiologist pops by and says hello and then uh, you whirled into the, the theatre and um, a couple of needles and you wake up in, in recovery. The procedure uh, went well, they informed me, so I... Um, there wasn't any pain uh, until later <laughs> when the anaesthetic starts to wear off. It wasn't bad pain, but it, it was uncomfortable and it was, was um, uh, all strapped up. They give you a scale of, you know, what amount of pain, you know, from one to ten, and you tell them, you know, what amount of pain, and then they'll give you, if you need any painkillers or any other medication, and they'll give you all that stuff. So you, you do you do need to trust that you know they'll look after you afterwards and and they know what to give you. I slept in hospital that night. Uh, they just like to keep an eye on things, make sure everything's proceeding well. The procedure was done on I think Monday, and I ended up staying till Friday because I said I really want to be monitored because this is new territory for me. So I think we all need to um, be able to speak up for ourselves if we feel um, some issue that's you're feeling negative about, speak up and share it with the staff. And in my case, I did that. And it um, made me feel when I did, was discharged that I was safe, you know, to go home and that I was okay.